is they still come knocking. Does your boss know that you are online chatting with the See, I'm sure they don't. I'll be back in just a second. And this one, a director at a computer software company, is playing hooky from work so he can meet a 13-year-old home alone. <laughs> Sit down, make yourself at home. Sure, thank you. I'm just getting these out so I don't get wrinkled. All right. He seems so friendly and polite, that manager at a software company, but his online chat tells a different story. You know, sex with a minor is called rape. Right, I understand. Have you ever chatted with an underage girl online? No, I have no idea. That's going to be our 1.30. Wow. I mean, he'd be way early if that's him. One thing that's disturbing about our investigations is that so many who show up look like nice guys, men you'd never suspect of possibly attempting to molest a child, just like this man. Open the front door, Amanda. Let's make sure he sees that you're there. He's 34-year-old Abalash Baskaran, a director of software development for a large computer company. He thinks he's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Hey, come on in. Just fine, how are you? Come on. I'm just finishing up some laundry. Take it back. I made you some sweet tea if you want to pour a glass. His screen name is Raj21US21. While chatting online with a decoy pretending to be 13, he asks, Hon, would you like to take me in your mouth? The girl says, I'm not sure how. So Raj21US21 says, we will learn as we go along. But just as they're about to sign off, he tells the decoy what he's doing is wrong, that he has to be cautious. Cautious? Why? You know, sex with minor is called rape. You don't want to have sex with me? So I just want to make sure everything is okay. I don't want to see a cop waiting to see me there. <laughs> he seems relieved when he sees our decoy and not a police officer. <laughs> Sit down, make yourself at home. Sure, thank you. I'm just getting these out so I don't get wrinkled. All right. So you've got a big afternoon planned, huh? Uh, Why don't you have a seat right there, please? What's going on? Nothing much. I thought I'll just make a friend and that's it. Told just to make a friend? Yeah. And who is the friend you are here to see? Um, some, uh, Amy. Amy. Right. A and how old is Amy? She said she was 13. 13? Yeah. And how old are you? 34. 34. Right. And why did you think it was okay at the age of 34 to come visit a 13-year-old girl home alone? I said, I mean, it is for sex I am not coming. For sex you are not coming? Yeah. So I'll just make a good friend. Um, so I'm educated. I have an MBA. You have an MBA? Yeah. You know, I'm married and, you know, the marriage is not going well, so... I'm sorry, you're married? Yeah, yes, I am. And, and the marriage is not going well? Yeah, so I you know, just wanted a friend to talk to, kind of. But explain to me how difficulty in your marriage led you to this house where you believed a 13-year-old girl was home alone. No, he said he's, you know, she's... she's uh, uh, good in studies and good in studies and I thought it is like a mature friend I mean okay, a mature friend yeah where were you when you were having this chat with this 13 year old girl Amy were you at I, your I was in office you were in your office yeah now does your boss know that you are online chatting with 13 year old girls I'm sure they don't so what would his bosses think Talk if they read a transcript of his pornographic chat. online chat you ask if she masturbates right you say I feel like kissing you now and suck on your blank and feel the tummy. Right. Um, that is the first day. Then I, you know, slept on that and realized it is not a good thing. I mean, you know, it is it's not something which I should do. Well, why even come over here? No, I mean, it's, you know, just like working for one year. I thought, just thought I would just take a day off. And uh, So you took a day off to come over here? Yeah. So you told them you had something else to do? Uh, who? The people at your office. Yeah, yes. Oh. I love you so much, hon. You talk about being cautious. I know. She says, why? You say, you know, sex with a minor is called rape. Right. I understand. I'm so you know the law. Yeah, I understand the law. Well, Abby, there's a, there's a couple things you need to know. Yeah. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults who meet teens online. Nothing else to say. Okay. Thank you. Since he's never seen one of our reports, he doesn't know that law enforcement is waiting outside to arrest him. Get on the ground! On the ground now! Get down! When he's taken in for questioning, he asks to speak to a lawyer. I mean, I'm a foreign national. Um, can I get an attorney or something? All right. What happens next, sir? Now you go to jail. Once at the jailhouse, he's fingerprinted and photographed. My wife and kids won't know where I am, so 
you can call and let them know. I'll get back with you on that in just a little bit. Then put behind bars awaiting a hearing. Well, you're charged with criminal attempt child molestation. That's a felony. It carries a penalty of 1 to 20 years.